this edition of DIY 3D Tech.com. In this episode, I am going to be adding, if I don't hit my head here, a switch to the back of the, the Wanhao for the light system which I installed. Because right now I'm running it on a separate wall ward and I was going to go install a switch and I got thinking, hey, the Wanhao's got a 12 volt power supply now. I'm going to warn you, I'll make sure if you're going to do this, make sure this is unplugged and you know what you're doing. So, because when you lift up this piece of the power supply, there is 110 volts or 220 volts if you're in Europe on these two pins. It will electrocute you. So I'm be very clear, danger, danger, Will Robinson right there. So I've got it unplugged, as you can see. So uh, also when we look at a bit of the wiring back here, <clears throat> one of the things we see, and I hope you can see it on the camera here, there's three voltage out ports, three COM ports, which is your ground, and then you have three um, voltage ports. Now one is being unused, so that's the one we're going to use. And I've already checked with the multimeter over here that we have 12 volts coming out of it and uh, everything should be good. The interesting part, and I think this is actually part of the Wanhouse problem, is you look at this wire here. So all the power coming out of the Wanhouse to power the, the bore, the, the hot end, everything is coming out of these two wires. Um, th th this powers the bed, the hot end, uh, and all the electronics. Uh, in my humble opinion, this is not enough wiring uh, for all that current that it's drawing. Uh, typically, in, when, when, <coughs> excuse me, when I've built uh, 3D printers before, one of the things that I have done is I've used separate poles for the um, the bed and the hot end and the electronics. So I've used all three for that. So um, I think there's I, th I think that's part of the challenge with some of the temperature fluctuation we're seeing. So I am going to put it on my to-do list uh, somewhere down the road to change this around. Um, but I, I, I really think this, this is the problem. Number one, th this, this wire is too light gauge. I mean, for Pete's sake, if you look at the wire going into, I mean, it's got a massive gauge wire going into that bed. And this is what's coming out of the power supply for it. This is way, 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 way under. Um, and again, I think this is why we're seeing the fluctuation in temperature. Even after changing the grounding, um, I think this is a problem. Uh, but I'm not going to fix this problem today, so I'll fix this problem another day. Uh, however, I, again, I want to share it since I've had this open, I could see it. Because the other just seems to run uh, two fans. I think, one, I think one is the extruder fan and then the fan back here. So everything is coming off of one pull. So anyways, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go drill a hole in this panel. Um, probably right down here because there's a bunch of space pop a hole in there with a drill and then put my switch in and then solder my leads connecting the light uh, into it. I'm just going to run the wire, the, the light wire, which is right here, into this into this looped cable uh, and into the back and then bring it up in, to the switch. So I'm going to go drill the holes and everything. Once I get that done, I'll come back and show you what I did. Welcome back. So we have it wired in. So you can see it here. So since I had a double pole switch, I just did both ground and hot. So just to be a little bit fancy and put a, a zip tie in here for strain relief. And then I also used a um, some heat shrink tubing. And so, uh, I mean, this is obviously very simple, but switch on, switch off, switch on, switch off. So again, we're pulling from the open ports on the uh, power supply from the Wanhao, so it's pulling from internal power, so it doesn't require an external wall ward or anything. So pretty nice little setup, so uh, happy with that. And again, uh, I'm going to put, um, after noticing this, I'm going to put this on my list to, to um, rectify, pardon the pun, here in the near future, because again, I think this is where part of the problem is actually coming from. So. Um, I'm going to actually try to split the hot end off and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the fans over to the where I have the light 
uh, because there's more, it should be more than enough power current on that leg to power all that. And then use the, the leg for, um, uh, that's being used for the fan, probably just dedicate that to the hot end. And what I'll do is, um, I believe the ground is common, so where the common is common, maybe put it that way, better, better put. Um, I'm going to double check that, and if that's the case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, uh, instead of running in, I'm going to run another set of wires right to the MOSFET for the, um, the hot end. So when it triggers it, the current will be drawn from this leg. Um, the only thing I have to watch is if there's, you know, a mismatch in the power supply. So I have to think through it. I might ha I'll might probably have to break the trace on the board where it's getting the current power from now just to be on the safe side. And then when it engages the MOSFET, then it takes the power from there. But that's going to be a project for uh, another rainy day. So anyway, so I'll button this back up and we'll show you the finished product. So here we are. We've got the end toggle on it and flip it up. Light on, flip it off, light off. So um, works pretty good. And so now I don't need a separate wall ward for this. Actually, threading the wire through this harness was pretty easy, easier than I thought. So that worked out well. So all in all, this uh, turned out to be a pretty easy project. Now, one of the reasons I, I forgot to mention that the, one of the reasons I opened this up and why I had it opened up, I decided to do this modification is for some reason my layer fan decided to stop working and so what I did is opened it up and the mounting on the board had become loose and where it attaches to the pins so I, I basically just had to unplug it, replug it and kind of jiggle it a little bit and it started working again so that was a good thing because I was getting rather nervous um, you know that my layer height fan wasn't working so uh, but it's working now, so um, if you're having that problem, uh, again, check out inside the box because the, the actual connectors, and I should have probably talked about it while I had it open, the, the connectors on the board are kind of crap. Um, they're not really seated on the board correctly. The pins are soldered in okay, but the, the plastic pieces, which are supposed to be attached to the pins, pull off. Um, Again, I should have, I should have took a video of it and showed it, um, but I was just kind of in a hurry to get that part done. Uh, so, anyways, if you're having problems with the layer height fan, check that out. And again, be careful with the power. Forewarned. Uh, however, that was my problem: is it was loose on the board, and just reseating it, you know, caused it to work again. I think eventually, what I'm going to have to do, as I mentioned, with the power, when I do the power, I think I'm going to have to really go through it and fix the connectors and, and all that kind of stuff too um, you know because again I can see where this I, I mean it's going to come loose again down the road sometime um, you know so when it does I'll open it back up and maybe do a little bit more permanent fix uh, probably what I'll do is solder the wires right to the lug there's not a good reason to have that or put in some Molex connectors or change that out it depends on how ambitious I am at, at that time so um, anyways uh, hopefully you found this interesting, you found kind of the rambles and the, the power supply discussion interesting, the light discussion, um, you know, because if you want to do an ancillary blower, because actually that's what I may do and, uh, is add another uh, uh, blower back, uh, back layer fan or something in the future, I don't know yet, just uh, for grins and giggles. However, this uh, worked out great. So anyways, hey, found it interesting. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, a lot more of this stuff coming along. Um, working on a lot of stuff, so uh, see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.